Today's gospel is a brief gospel. It is the story in Matthew of the calling of the first of the apostles. The first two, specifically the brothers Andrew and Peter. Um, an interesting thing about this reading is in the gospel of John, there's actually a slightly different story that's called the, the first calling of the apostles, uh, Andrew and Peter. And the, the, the Bible as it is, is not particularly clear on the sequence of events. And, um, and so uh, sometimes we have to sort of speculate on what order things happen in. But the story in, in the Gospel of John actually takes place in the presence of John the Baptist. Um, and so from that, we infer that uh, Andrew and Peter were actually uh, followers of John the Baptist, or at least were well acquainted with him and his message. And so it's, it's generally believed that there's probably two events happening here. The first event would have been the meeting of Jesus with John the Baptist. And so this would have been the first calling when Andrew introduces Peter to Christ. And then this event that we read today would have been the second calling. So it's possible that the way this happened was that Christ went and met with John the Baptist and was baptized and met Andrew and Peter. But he wasn't ready to begin his ministry straight away. And so he probably talked with them, and they got excited because they're waiting for the Messiah, and here he is. So they're all ready to go. And Jesus basically says, you know, why don't you go home for a little bit? You know, go home and, and tend to the things at your house for a little bit. I got some things to do. So this is when he goes into the wilderness, and we don't have any idea how much time elapsed. But in the first story... John the Baptist is alive, and the second story, John the Baptist, that period of time is about a year. So it could have been quite a while that uh, Andrew and Peter are, are involved. And so the next time Christ comes along, Jesus comes along and calls them, they're doing what they do. They're fishing, right? They just went, they went back to tend to their things. So to me, it makes a little more sense in this scripture where Christ comes and calls them, and they just drop everything and run after him, which seems a little weird if you have a family it's like you kind of got to go, all right, Dad, see you later. You know, the net's okay. The fishing going to be okay. Um, they're ready to go because they've been waiting a year, you know, for, to come back and get them. And he's like, all right, we're good to go. And they go. And this is actually sort of an experience that we have frequently in our own life, in our own relationship with Christ. Um, we'll receive, well, there are times in our lives when we, when we hear Christ calling. And, and there are times in our life when Christ says basically, tend to the things in your house. And those can be hard. In my own life, uh, I became, I converted to orthodoxy, well, something like 16 years ago now. And um, you know, I consider that to be a calling from, from Christ. The, the Holy Spirit within me, the image of God within me, you know, hearing uh, Christ call to, his, to the Orthodox Church. And in my zeal, I was prepared uh, within a couple of years to, to go to seminary, you know, and, and become at least a deacon. And uh, as it worked out, I started going through the process, and in a spiritual sense, uh, Jesus said to me, yeah, go home and tend to the things at your house. Not right now. You know, now's not the time. And so, and uh, went home, and in the meantime, Joanna gave birth to three, maybe four kids, and six years went by, and we moved to Texas and started coming here, and, uh, and then about a year after we, we came here, which is about six years that, and whatever, um, Father Anthony says to me, have you ever thought about being a deacon, essentially? And I was like, oh, hey, Jesus is back, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and well, the rest is history there. And that was a fairly momentous occasion for me, right? I mean, this is a, uh, we would say it's a calling to, to ordination. But I, I think I can think of the moments in my life when the event has been less momentous, but it's still that same feeling of Christ calling or, or Christ letting me tend to things at home. And even, even the saints have experiences like this. I recently read a biography of St. Theseus of Mount Athos. He's a very 
contemporary saint. He died just recently. Found a monastery or go assist again at monasteries he had founded, or just go help in the world. His, recollect, his response to that is he never really wanted to do it, because while he was in solitude and praying constantly and practicing spiritual disciplines, he felt totally connected to God, and he felt he was in conversation with God. And these times that he had to go tend to these things out in the world broke that connection for him. And when he came back into solitude, he had to basically reconnect with this conversation with God. And though that's a, a bit of a different level than my experience, it's the same type of thing. God called him to tend to the things of the world. Go tend to your house, and I'll call you back when it's time. And there are little ways this happens to us, right? Um, just in everyday life, there are times when we feel like we're not really getting told to do anything. And those are the times when it gets hard to really continue practicing the faith, to come to church, to practice spiritual discipline. It can be difficult because you're not sure where it's going. And you're waiting when Christ comes and says, all right, I need you to help these people. All right, okay, I need you to go take care of this issue here or, or come to work at the church or I need you to go move to some other place to relocate or take another job or whatever it is that Christ needs us to Up to and including, I need to repent. And this is kind of a big one. Right? We'll, we kind of, we'll go through life tending to our things. Maybe we're coming to confession uh, regularly. Maybe we're coming to church regularly. But every now and again, you get that compunction. Right? That like, I really need to just turn it up a gear. I need Come, I need to come to confession and repent and start afresh. And that's Christ calling you back. I mean, pretty clearly. So, as we go through life, we need to be attentive. And of course, the great model for this is the, uh, the virgins with the lamps, right? Waiting for the bridegroom. Behold, the bridegroom comes at midnight. Be prepared. This is the same. Christ is coming to call you to Maybe just calling you back to repentance or calling you back to further participation. But he's coming. And we need to be prepared for that. So may God help us. May the Holy Spirit within us remind us to be vigilant, waiting for that calling of Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ.